All right, now we're gonna talk about the perfect alliance. And when I first got into this industry, this is how I built um, practices in San Francisco. <clears throat> Sometimes your circle decreases in size, but increases in value. You're getting a lot of ideas here. And this one, I really like because it's executable. And once you've done it, it's done. So think about who you, this isn't about quality or quantity, this is gonna be about quality. And it's the quality of a relationship that you can set up in your community. So you always wanna start with, who do you already know? Specifically, who do you already know who gives you money and who you give money to? Because oftentimes you wanna develop a relationship with an absolute total stranger like the salon down the street. They don't know you, you don't know them. It's a tough one. A shortcut is, who do you go to right now for your high-end services or whatever service you're looking for, and who goes to you? So I would always start with talking to your patients. Who do they know? Who are they connected with? You know? Now, you want to choose wisely. You want to share the demographics. You would never approach somebody like, let's say you were going to do a retail something. You wouldn't go to Forever 21 if you're doing facelifts. So you really want to know your demographics. You also, if you're going to attract like hair salons, if you're going to go the hair salon route, you really want to know who the owner is and develop a relationship with them. It doesn't help if you're really good friends with the stylist that only rents the booth at the salon. You need the owner because they need to have like skin in the game. And also, they've got to be tech savvy in today's world. You're trying to do something together with them for what benefit? To grow both of your businesses. This isn't a one-way street, it's a it's a win-win. So they've got to have a database. It's got to be in an, in an Excel file at least. They have to, so many um, places have a database, but they're going to show you the paper files they have. And you can't work with that. Again, shortcut, work with people who are tech savvy enough to have a database that they can pull out digitally. And then are they good marketers? The best alliances you can have are those who have a really good list that follows them because they have a relationship with that group. But keep in mind, when you approach somebody to have an alliance with them, all they're saying to themselves is, really, what's in this for me? Because you're asking them to develop a relationship with their